So growing up here in Metro Detroit, like, and just, I guess, my age and situation, everything like that, uh, growing up, Gordie Howe was like an idol in our house. And then after Gordie Howe, it became Steve Eiserman. So those were like two guys that, like, were a big, uh, big factor for a lot of Metro Detroit sports families, you know, Mr. Hockey and then the captain. But, like, this is neither one of them, right? But this is the... I'd have to look it up. I think it's a 50. It's, I know it's a Park, Parker. It's card. Parky. It's a 51. I, I One day I want to get a Gordie Howe rookie. And naturally, you know me, I don't want to buy like the best one available. I want to buy one that needs some work. So I picked up a few of these. I, I got a couple of these here and um, that I picked up off eBay just for a couple bucks. So leave it up to me to get one that's like horrible. <laughs> I, I didn't even see. I didn't even know it was like this on the picture. I think it was just like. I don't even know what that guy was doing. But anyways, let's give it a shot. So a lot of the Gordie Howe cards I'll see, they're, they just kind of are all dark and dingy like this. Not I would never buy one that has this on it because I don't even know what our chances are of getting this off. But let's do it together. So uh, let's, we'll do top up. But I've never worked with one of these before. So this is why I love base cards. So let's see what the heck happens. I don't think a lot's gonna happen right away, but I just wanna test this Parkhurst card to its limits. I wanna see, and not even really its limits, I guess. I just wanna see how it responds to soaking. I wanna see if we can get the borders lighter. You know, I wanna see, well, since this, since we got this one and it has all this crap on it, I wanna see if we can get any of this stuff off. It'd be cool to get, I, it'd just be cool to make any steps, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna quit fidgeting with this. We're gonna leave this here. And I'm gonna leave my phone right here, my camera right here, and I'll turn this on here. Not too long, and we'll see what the heck happens next. All right, I have to admit, I lost a little track of time. It's between 35 and 45 minutes I've had it in here. It's wet, <laughs> you can see that. And you can see some stuff floating off the back. So this is my base card because I wanna own a Gordie Howe rookie someday. So what I wanna do, guys, is just I'm kind of learning as I go on this one. You know, I'm, I take a lot of experience from working on other paper cards of the era, but I just like to know how the card reacts under a lot of different conditions. So this had like this brown glue all over the back. And it used to feel slick. Now it feels like paper. And that might be why the card spray is brown. And when I look at it from an angle, I'm looking at it just from an angle. It has like an oily film on top of it. So why I'm tapping my finger like this is just to, if you rub on a wet piece of cardboard, you're gonna rip the surface apart. So don't do that. But if you tap on it, you won't. So I'm just gonna try to bust off whatever remaining residue. If I can get that brown stuff off, that'd be sweet. And let's just test this paper. I'm a little reluctant to go too far with paper like this under spray for the first time. Because if I let it dry for a few, I don't know, even 20 some minutes or something like that, the card is probably stronger than this material. Now, we've seen that the glue looks like it breaks apart in the card spray. So since the card's still gonna be wet when I take it out, the card spray is going to still be penetrating on this glue and I'm probably just going to try to remove it little pieces at a time versus trying to scrub it all off right here. I got most of this uh, brown resin or rubber cement or whatever it may be. So let's just see what we got here. The front, I mean, there ain't much on the front. It'd be cool if it lightens up. So look how, that's our grody plate of solution. So the card spray did its job. Let's just hope it's enough. I'm gonna try to get some of this junk off the back of this 51 Parkhurst because I bought it as a base card and I didn't even realize the extent of uh, stuff on it. So let's let's try to figure it out. So instead of me over explaining it, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Tortillon to try to gently remove little pieces of this 
and get it hopefully looking as good as possible. If you see me stop, it's because I don't like uh, I don't like where I'm at. I don't think it's loose enough, and I don't want to pull off the surface. So I would, you know, leave that part for now and come up with a plan B. But in the meantime, let's just see what we can do. That turned out uh, like awesome. All right, so we're not done yet. Let's let's keep rolling. And a big part of the success right here, guys, was letting everything sit for a few minutes, not rushing through it. You know, I'm gonna use a little cotton, a little spray. Kind of go in here and tap and get some of this junk off as much as you want to scrub on it don't do it because we went through all that and look at the whole back is safe like that's awesome that is you couldn't ask for anything better when you're removing you know 70 year old glue potentially or whatever you know See, look at that, this thing's super dirty. So now I'm gonna go back to card spray. I wanna clean this a little bit more. So I'm just gonna let it hang. And so what I've learned is like most stuff built in the 50s, these things are not wimpy. It's a resilient, nice card. They look old and fragile, but they're sturdy. So I'm just doing this to get like whatever, you know, that was trapped. This stuff trapped a bunch of glue and junk in there. And just through that scraping, we got a bunch of it off, just light, light scraping. But look how awesome that back turned out. All of that was on here. And front looks cool, right? We'll be fine with that. So let's get this out of here. So let's uh, come to the end here on this video on the 51 Parkhurst and it's pretty cool to be able to get all this off. I'm glad I was able to show you guys that. So got that off, um, worked as hard as I could to get this junk off the back. I'd uh, soaked the card a couple times and um, stuff is pretty, pretty tough, but I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, I learned a lot. <clears throat> I learned that the 51 Parkhurst are strong, resilient cards. Um, this card was a mess. Um, got a lot of the surface stuff off, the big staining, got all that junk off the back. Well, you know, all that junk. And it, I got a decent amount of the, uh, the the glue and crud, but this shows you, man, some of that stuff is baked in there. So if you're gonna buy a, a Parker card or any cool, uh, you know, retro project, 
try to avoid a ton of glue. You know, that's sometimes, you know, you can't get all that off, but paper guys, you know, it's worth it. Give it a shot. And um, I hope you had fun watching this one. I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to get my Gordie Howe rookie someday. And if it needs some work, I'm, uh, I'm ready for the job. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. Mm -hmm.